So where are you? Your front porch. Are you scared yet? Because it's about to get blood curdling. Hey guys, I'm Ashley Carlson. Get your earplugs ready because we're celebrating the ladies of horror as we count down our top five scream queens. The number five spot goes to Sissy Spacek for her performance in the 1976 horror classic, Carrie. Scary night, isn't it? It's like right out of a horror movie or something. At number four, we've got to give it up to Nev Campbell, who helped bring back the modern slasher in the horror satire, Scream. The franchise also brought on a few more dames of horror, like Rose McGowan and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Like that? <laughs> Is that good? And Jennifer Love Hewitt earns the number three spot for I Know What You Did Last Summer. I get to scream. I think being a singer, the lungs were just kind of trained already for the screaming thing, so I just kind of let it all loose and, and there you go. Just hearing the word horror should bring you to this classic moment. At number two, it's Janet Lee in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. In all honesty, I, 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 I do not take showers, and I, I, I know that everybody says, oh, come on, it's true, I don't. The brilliance of Hitchcock was he would take an ordinary thing, like a shower. I never thought anything bad about a shower before until I saw a psycho. But the term Scream Queen was actually coined for Janet Lee's daughter. That's right, horror movie blood runs in the family. Jamie Lee Curtis earns the number one spot for her performance in the Halloween franchise. <laughs> and fun fact, Jamie and her mother actually starred together in Halloween H2O. Well, that's our list, but I want to know who's your favorite Scream Queen of all time. There are plenty of honorable mentions, so let me know on Twitter. Use that hashtag ETNow and keep checking back with ET Online for more entertainment. Uh, uh.